Hey Bache, hope you guys enjoyed this video because it's gonna be pretty lit today. So we're gonna make an Orbeez inspired bath bomb, you guys. We're gonna, this is gonna have like a multicolor of pastel and just all this bunch of stuff that I'm gonna love so much. Hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it. So you're gonna need the traditional bath bomb making kit that I always do, baking soda, citric acid. And this time we have a little bonus for you guys. We're gonna use some Epsom salt. This is perfect for your muscles. What we're gonna start off is separating this mixture into five separate bowls because it's gonna be like a multicolored bath bomb like I said and it's gonna have Orbeez inside. <laughs> yes, hunty, slay my life. So when you do the food crumb, you obviously gonna make sure that it's completely dissolved into the powder form that you want. And then you're gonna make sure that it's like moon sand kind of texture. So you wanna give it a couple sprays and stuff. I recommend only two sprays for this. And yeah, it's actually so much fun to make and I hope you guys enjoy it. Work, 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 sing it, doing da, 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 da. So after mixing the pink, my fingers were all kind of fucked up. Like, it looked like the Asian lady did not make them right and stuff. You know what I mean? I went to the nail salon and she kind of fucked up my nails. But then she snatched them up real quick. So what you're going to do is get all your five separate colors. And once they're finished, you're going to want to, like, layer this on. You want to make sure that when you do this, that the inside is going to be kind of hollow. But you want it to be thick as well. Just because this is where the Orbeez are going to go, you guys. So you want to make it like an egg type of thing. And I'm going to do that to both sides here. So when I'm doing this, you know, I'm using make sure that they are thick as well. And I'm going to stick them together for measurements, you guys. Look at me being a little smart. I'm a smarty here. And if you guys know me, you guys obviously know that I'm not smart with these. These are kind of my DIY fuck ups. So what next I'm going to do is I'm going to like squish the sides down and stuff. And you want to make them at least thumb thick, if that makes sense. Like thick enough to where the Orbeez can stay in place, but not too thick where, you know, they like can't get anything. So it's kind of hard to make these because like, you want the Orbeez to be like wet, but you don't want them to be dry as well because then they won't do anything in the Orbeez. So this is the first one that I made. It kind of fucked up really bad. It looks like like moss or like pudding or like just someone shit it all over it. So when I broke it open, <laughs> this is the worst failure of my freaking life, you guys. I was so mad, but this is what happens when the Orbeez are just too wet. Legit, the Orbeez has like explosive diarrhea. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no. What the fuck? I'm so sorry you guys, I just freaked out a little bit. Excuse me, I'm just gonna go cry in the corner. <laughs> I cannot! So after trying this a couple few more times, I finally got the perfect combination for the Orbeez. You want them to be soaked for at least two hours and make sure they're not super squishy and jelly-like. You want to make sure that they're hard and firm and not yet full of water. It's hard for you to get the right measurements for the Orbeez only because they are going to expand and they are wet, so it's going to make the bath bomb inside burst, legit burst. So this one did not um, combine as evenly as the other one did. The important message of the day is that nobody's perfect and neither are my bath bombs. So, suck up! It still worked out because it's still beautiful and I still love it and it's still my favorite bath bomb ever. So let's see if these work out because if they don't, I'm gonna be pissed as fuck. Yes, God slay my life. This is perfect. This is like coming out of the closet, but a bath bomb form. And these are the Orbeez, you guys are so cute. This is the best creation I've ever made. I'm so proud of myself. But it's like an explosion of past. The only thing that sucks, I think I soaked them in a little too long. Like I said, you have to soak them in for the good amount of time because these become very fragile. And when you squish them, they, they literally turn into my tears and a realization that I am a idiot and a worst DIYer ever. Ah, queen, yes, Bailey, you win, girl. Message me because you get the backpack. You are the 6K giveaway winner. Love you so much and thank you so much for the support. So sad. But true. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and like it up if you guys did. Dislike if you didn't and subscribe down below if you are not already. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Comment down below to see new things. And like always, until next time. Uh, bye bye.